Hey guys, I just wanted to get on here and do a little like breakdown about the holidays. So this is going to be a really quick little vlog just of me talking about how to survive the holidays. It is Monday, no it is Tuesday the 21st. Thanksgiving is on Thursday. Now there are a couple things you can do leading up to Thanksgiving and then after Thanksgiving to balance out the higher calories that you will eat on Thanksgiving. My, my mom just called me this morning actually and told me that she read an article that the average amount of calories that the normal person consumes on Thanksgiving is around 4,500 calories, 4,500 calories. It takes 3,500 calories to put on one pound of fat so my goal for everybody is to not get to that point where you're actually adding fat in one day thanksgiving is about family yes it is also about the food but you don't have to go into a coma a food coma every year i have done it i'm sure you have done it in the past it doesn't have to be that way how long like think about last thanksgiving or the last time you binged on thanksgiving to the point where like you had to go lay down and take a nap after you ate it doesn't have to be that way so these are the things that i tell my clients to do these are the things that i follow number one thing that you can do to make up for the extra calories that you will eat on Thanksgiving is just adjust how you eat that week. So Thanksgiving is always on a Thursday. This video is going to go out tomorrow morning on Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. So it's you you can do this for any other holiday, a birthday, anniversary, Christmas, New Year's, anything. Adjust your calorie intake in the beginning of the week and at the end of the week so if you are someone who tracks your macros my like rule of thumb is uh, if you know that thanksgiving you know the kind of food that you normally eat you know the food that your family brings you know that you want to indulge in dessert in alcohol you know that you will go a little far above what you really should eat on thanksgiving you don't have to feel bad for it adjust your macros so starting monday or if you're watching this video starting today, Wednesday, lower your fat macros by five, five to eight even if you want to, since you're seeing this video and it's gonna be Thanksgiving tomorrow. Lower your fat macros by five to eight, lower your carbs by 10 to 20. This will give, it really matters, the week as a whole is what matters the most when it comes to calorie intake. So if you lower your calorie intake in the days leading up to Thanksgiving, then you have a little bit extra in your bank to enjoy on Thanksgiving. Now, you can also do this in the days following Thanksgiving. So on Black Friday, on Friday, on that Saturday, and on that Sunday, do the same thing. Lower your fat macros by about five to eight, lower your carbs by about 10 to 20. Now, do this only if you really think that you went over. For example, today, Wednesday, eat a little bit less lower your fat by five to eight, lower your carbs by 10 to 20. When Thanksgiving comes, enjoy your day. And then on Friday, you can determine, mm, I went, I went ham, I really did. Let me lower my fat by eight, let me lower my carbs by 20. And then on Sunday, you can either do the same, lower them again, or go back to your regular macros. If you are someone who does not track your macros, you don't know what you, how many calories you eat in a day, you don't wanna be bothered, then just simply eat a little bit lighter on the days leading up to Thanksgiving and the days after Thanksgiving. So maybe one of your meals, swap out the carb and have a salad. I am absolutely not saying to eat no carbs. You don't want to like eat nothing leading up to Thanksgiving. You wanna still stimulate your metabolism. You wanna still have your metabolism in a spot where it's burning your food and not holding onto fat instead. So don't go crazy with restricting calories. That is not what you wanna do at all. Just simply lighten it up a little bit on the days leading up to Thanksgiving and the days after Thanksgiving. And don't make it be like a whole week, you know, after Thanksgiving, the whole week you eat really, really light. No, you still want to eat 
your normal food the week after Thanksgiving. These are just, you know, little tips to give yourself a little extra calories on Thanksgiving to enjoy. Now on actual Thanksgiving day, my number one tip for that day is to get a workout in in the morning. Wake up a little bit earlier, get a workout in. If you're cooking and you really can't swing it and you cannot get to the gym because you're cooking, you're hosting, get up early and go for a run outside. Do some sprints outside. Do a high intensity interval circuit just in your house with some burpees and some body weight squats and just put a timer on and do 10 burpees and then rest for 30 seconds. 10 burpees, rest for 30 seconds. Just burn something. That is my number one. Put those calories to good use. Get a good calorie burn in in the morning. Number two tip for actual Thanksgiving day, water drink water all day long. Still enjoy a cocktail, wine, mimosa, whatever, but be very aware of your water intake. This will help make you feel more full. So you're, there's going to be food everywhere. So you're going to want to eat. So if you're constantly drinking water, this is just going to kind of fill you up and not leave you like ravenous. You also really want to get a good breakfast in. I know a lot of people's Thanksgiving dinners, you know, some people have them at like 1 PM. Some people have them at 6 PM or three. It really depends, but get a good breakfast in a lean protein source. My go-to is always a humongous veggie and egg white omelet with like a slice of toast. Still get a carb in so you can feel full, but really get a great source of protein in in a big amount. So when you go to your family's house for Thanksgiving and there's appetizers everywhere, there's cheese and crackers, at least in my family, there's wine, there's just food everywhere, little snacks everywhere. You're not starving. A lot of people think I'm just not going to eat until I get there and then I won't eat until dinner time. Does that ever really happen? No. You're fasting because you think you're saving your calories, but then you get there and you're fucking starving. Don't do that to yourself. Eat a good breakfast so that when you get to the party and there's food everywhere, you're not starving. So if you have a bite of something, that's enough for you. You know, you're full. Let me try that, that looks great. Have, have one of something and then you're good. Have everything in moderation. Have a little bit of everything, but not too much of anything. Portion control is key. Don't eat like an asshole. You know what eating like an asshole is. You know what being gluttonous is. You know what too much on your plate is to the point where like it's comical. It Don't do that to yourself. You can always go up for seconds. So when it's time to have your main dinner, get small portions of everything. Take a little bit of everything. Eat slow. My problem personally is I fucking inhale my food because I don't, I, it's like how I've always been. Like I inhale. I don't taste, I just swallow. <laughs> so don't do that. Actually taste your food, be with family, talk, drink water in between your bites. Take time to eat. When your plate is empty, drink more water, relax for a bit. Dessert is coming. You don't need to be so full that you need to lay down after your main course. You're gonna eat again. There's, and then if you have an earlier dinner, you're gonna wanna eat a little bit later. So just know that the food is not going anywhere, okay? Take a little bit on your plate, eat slowly, drink water, see if you want more. For dessert, enjoy dessert. It's Thanksgiving. Have a small slice. You don't need a huge portion. Have a small slice, taste a little bit of everything, and then be done with it. If you know you're still, if there's desserts around and you're like, oh my god, I just want more. I'm 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 not even hungry, but I just love this taste and I want it all. Have some decaf coffee after your dessert. I promise you that will help. So really just practice moderation. And the next day, so after Thanksgiving, get a workout in. Use those calories on legs, ladies, legs and glutes. It really makes more sense to train legs after Thanksgiving 
rather than before Thanksgiving because you have all of those calories and you can put it to good use where your leg workout or whatever you train after Thanksgiving, you're gonna have the best workout ever because your body's gonna be so full of carbs. You're gonna have so much energy. You're gonna have the best list lift ever. So take advantage of that and really train hard the day after Thanksgiving. You can either go do like a fasted workout in the morning where you wake up, you take BCAAs, if you're doing a fasted workout, drink aminos, and then get a workout in or have a light little breakfast and then work out later. You don't have, I don't want you to not eat on Black Friday. I don't want you to think that because you had a huge meal on Thanksgiving, you really shouldn't eat on Friday or you should eat very, very light on Friday. No, you want your metabolism to continue to burn and be stimulated and burn your fat. So on, on Friday, if you feel like, ugh, I really fucking overdid it on Thanksgiving, just lower your macros a little bit or lower your intake of food to just to make healthier choices. So maybe watch your fat intake. Fat is the highest calorie macro. So that's how you get the so many calories in one sitting or in one day is fat. So oils and butters. So really pay attention to your fat intake the day after Thanksgiving and then just have moderate carbs, get a workout in and then drink water. Don't weigh yourself. What's the, what is the point of weighing yourself after Thanksgiving? you you will be bloated. It's just water retention. So don't worry. If you practice portion control, if you get a workout in, if you drink your water, you're not, nothing bad is going to happen to you. Also a really good thing to do if you are going to someone else's house for Thanksgiving and you don't know what they're going to make, or you don't know how that they prepare their food. So you really don't have any idea what the calories are bring something bring an appetizer or even better bring a side dish my most recent cooking channel series for the thanksgiving side dishes bring one of those like cauliflower mac and cheese not a lot of people have mac and cheese on thanksgiving i know some people do but ask the host what are you making for thanksgiving i want to bring something and then bring something that they're not making so say for example they're doing mashed potatoes and they're not doing like a sweet potato casserole bring my butternut squash casserole and that will be a freaking hit and that is something that you can enjoy guilt-free and take a larger portion of and then just have littler portions of the things that the host made also get a good nice portion of turkey grab the turkey breast and really get a nice big portion of turkey breast and protein in because chances are on Thanksgiving your protein is going to be pretty low because of all the other dishes it's mostly going to be carbs and fats so get a nice size of a protein of your lean turkey breast have a nice portion of a side dish that you brought and then have a good amount of veggies like brussels sprouts or green beans or whatever your family makes and then have small little portions of stuffing and cranberry sauce and things like that but don't stress don't track your macros don't feel guilty for enjoying thanksgiving don't starve yourself after thanksgiving or before thanksgiving because you feel like you need to save the calories you're only doing harmful things to your metabolism so go into thanksgiving with a positive focused mindset and just tell yourself i'm in control because you are no one's forcing you to eat so if you're gonna beat yourself up about it it's really you're the only one to blame because you don't have to overdo it with food you control what is on your plate you control what you put into your body so going into thanksgiving with a game plan for yourself getting a workout in having a nice breakfast when you are full when you go to your family's house constantly drinking water and if you're struggling with your water intake throw some bcaas in your water make it taste good have a little bit of everything really practice portion control eat slowly drink water while you're eating and adjust adjust your macros and your food the day before or the week you know the week of thanksgiving and a couple days after thanksgiving just to make up for the extra calories on thanksgiving now this applies to any holiday i will repost this video for christmas for new year's for birthdays anniversaries literally anything when you know an event is coming up do these simple steps to just give yourself some extra you know wiggle room to enjoy guilt-free i don't tell any of my clients to track on thanksgiving i just tell them these exact tips so i hope this helped just breathe 
and go into Thanksgiving with a game plan, with a positive mind, and don't stress. There's no point of stressing, so just enjoy. Now, if you are signed up for my email list, I am going to write out a little like how to survive the holidays little checklist. So you have all the points that I talked about in a little PDF that you can just keep on your phone, put it as your background, whatever. If you are not subscribed to my email list, I will put a link in the description box below so you can get all my updates. And um, if you didn't, if you signed up for my email list, after this video and you didn't receive the PDF of all of the little hacks of how to survive the holidays, just send me an email and I will forward you that PDF. So happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Breathe. You will not ruin any of your progress. You will not take steps backwards. Have an amazing holiday season, guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye.